Hey guys, Dr. Daniel Sugai and Derm Doctor. June is Acne Awareness Month. Uh, let's talk some acne real quick. So there's multiple forms of acne. You have comedonal acne, which is just little bumps, blackheads, whiteheads. Then you have inflammatory acne, which are like pus-filled bumps. Uh, they can hurt, they can be painful, but they drain pus ultimately. Then you can have nodulocystic acne, which are deep-seated acne, which often scars and can be very, very painful for people. Those are the kind of uh, types of acne that you want to see a dermatologist for, definitely. Otherwise, you may have permanent scarring. Well said. So in terms of comedonal acne, you know, for the foundation of treatment, I like to use benzoyl peroxide cleansers, salicylic acid cleansers. As you guys know, it's a beta hydroxy acid that goes into the pores, cleans it out. I also like retinoids. We're big retinoid fans. So, um, you know, why are you tretinoin, tazeratine, or a dapolene fan for you for yourself personally? Well, it depends on the patient. I, you know, over the counter, I like a dapolene different gel. But yeah. if you're going to see a dermatologist, my go-to is still tretinoin. What do you use? Um, I personally use Altrino. Um, oh, sure the fancy the lotion. Like tretinoin lotion. Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. Um, I like tretinoin a lot for myself. Uh, Tazeratine, a little too strong for me. Um, but I have to try Araslo, which is the, the new vehicle formulation of Tazeratine. So I have to try that out. But otherwise, a cream or gel of Tazeratine, a little too drying. But that's one of the more... Uh, one of the most common side effects is you'll get drying, irritation, redness, peeling, especially if you start off with any retinoid, whether it's a dapolene or tretinoin, tazeratine. When, when would you expect to see results with the retinoid for acne, Dr. Shaw? I usually give people about two to three months. Um, you know, set realistic expectations. You may see results sooner, which is great. We love that. Sometimes your acne gets a little bit worse. We call that purging. It doesn't happen in everyone, but every now and then, because it speeds up the way that our skin cells turn over, it could bring acne to the surface a little bit quicker. And so it may get a little bit worse before it gets better, but stick it out because in two, three months, your skin should be getting much better. I think it's really important to set expectations because a lot of people get discouraged. They want to get that magic bullet and see results really quickly. So setting expectations, I agree, you know, give it two to three months, taking it low and slow, being consistent, taking the marathon approach more than the sprint will definitely yield results in the end. If, you're, if the over-the-counter medications are not helping you, uh, see your dermatologist uh, for additional help. You may need oral medications, prescription medications and such, so. Wise words from Dr. Sugai. Wise words from Dr. Sugai. I paid him to say that. <laughs> Bobby Boba. Yeah. This is like paying me because yeah. everybody knows how much I love food. Yeah. Real quick, your favorite uh, acne cleanser that you like to use for yourself, Dr. Acne Shaw. Acne cleanser for myself, the Murad uh, Salicylic Acid Cleanser. Yes, I love that brand. I actually just started using it. I really like their Retinol Youth Serum. Um, I really like the Inculus Salicylic Acid Cleanser, CeraVe SA. It's a great cleanser. Benzoyl Peroxide, I like the CeraVe as well. Acne foaming cream cleanser from yep. CeraVe. Legit four percent benzoyl peroxide, so not as irritating as the ten percent penoxyl one. Well tolerated by a lot of people. Wise words from Derm Doctor here. He tried to buy me boba, so that was a big <laughs> gesture there. Yeah, uh, in terms of retinoids, I agree. I like adapalene over the counter, different or La Roche Posay Effaclar. What do you think of the Inculus succinic acid treatment? Um, well, I think it has it has the salicylic acid in it. It has succinic acid, which is a little bit of a newer ingredient. It has some data on it, unrelated to basically acne studies, but it has some benefit in keeping the acne bacteria at bay interesting ingredient and then the third thing that it has in it which is sulfur and sulfur has years and years of data or not data but almost more experience based with dermatologists where it shows a lot of benefit in both acne and in rosacea so i think it's like a triple threat of ingredients um i think that it can be beneficial as a spot treatment got it perfect yeah and i think for um for us dermatologists i think the most gratifying thing about our job is seeing our patients get um achieve clearer skin and healthier skin it's not about having perfect skin you know i want to normalize acne for sure it's totally normal to have enlarged pores clogged pores acne especially in the year the time of us using masks even dermatologists we get breakouts too so this month just normalize acne increase awareness just know that um, there are dermatologists out there who can help you out if things are getting bad if you're having scarring acne definitely see your derm and know that it's not your fault that you have acne genetic a lot of times it has to do with your hormones 
so it's not because you didn't clean your skin it's not because you are not drinking enough water um, a lot of it has to do with things that you have to, you don't have control over so you just have to treat it like anyone else so uh, don't feel bad about yourself uh, you will see progress if you follow a good regimen perfect perfect okay well that's us in the parking lot with kids <laughs> falling over with full of yeah, yeah. <laughs> Expected. So, but yeah, it's a real quick episode here. Dr. Daniel Sagai, Dr. Shaw, thanks for stopping in. Check out our channels. Thanks for visiting Seattle. Hey guys, uh, just want to talk about there's some dermatologists out on TikTok who are just giving trash advice. You may have never uh, know of this guy, <coughs> Derm Doctor. Um, yeah, I mean, just total trash the stuff he recommends, and it's just what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, hey, nice to see you. You're in Seattle?